But if he um, just repeats history here, it's clear that he's talking to his base, he's talking to this angry group of people who he is saying that we're going to make America great again by making America hate again. Uh, he knows that's his pathway from his perspective to the nomination in the Republican uh, uh, process next year. Uh, and uh, and just, I'm just afraid that we have a pretty historically dangerous week we're about to encounter uh, because of his call to those people who are nothing more nor less than just his army that was there on January 6th of 2021 waiting to be called to action once again. If you're worried about us heading into a historically dangerous week, what can and should the federal government be doing to prepare for something that might be analogous to January 6th? Well, again, I think that we have to be on high alert at the Capitol um, so that we have protections in place that we did not have on January 6th. Uh, but I think up in New York City, obviously, uh, the, um, the, the police and others have to be ready, prepared uh, for actions that right now are perhaps being contemplated by not only citizens of New York, but all across the country. They descended upon Washington from all across the country, including from Massachusetts. They'll be descended upon uh, New York City as well. I saw what happened the last time. He was asking his supporters to protest, uh, and it was just an absolutely unbelievable day for those of us in the Capitol. I really for can't those imagine. of us watching on TV the people coming up the sides of our buildings, you know, trying to uh, get their hands on the electoral college ballots or upon a member of the House or Senate. So we were very fortunate that day, as bad as it was.